Hey YouTube, it's Market Watch time. This is where we talk about the Digimon card game market, some singles, and things you need to know. I brought up a lot of individual cards today that I want to look at, either because they're exploding, or because they're crashing, or maybe things you should keep your eyeballs on. Either way, we have a fun-filled Market Watch today, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the notification bell on the Smash Potatoes. That way you know when all these amazing Digimon videos come out. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch and join my Discord. Links are in the description below. So we always start with Omnimons. And for the most part, Omnimons stabilized. They haven't really fallen or gone up since last week. Not really. Unless you're counting our special Ghost Rare Double Diamond Omnimon here. A listing for $900. And market data suggests that it hasn't been sold for that yet, but it's been sold for a lot more. Um, things you want to know about this card are, you know, there's still more Double Diamond to come. Which means there are more chances for more of this Omnimon to come. Which means that it still could fall a little bit. But mark my words, you give this card three years, you're going to wish, you're going to wish you could buy it for $895. So that being said, I don't think it's the time to buy this card yet. I think it's still going to go down another 100 bucks or two. And um, yeah, just keep that in mind because it's this very, very sought after and hard to get collector's item. Like we opened almost three cases here and we didn't get one. Some people are a little more lucky than that and that's fine. But it's not the easiest thing to pull in the world. So just, just be careful with that. Now, BT6 cards. I'm not going to bring up a whole bunch of them, because as you guys know, the whole Double Diamond set is just crashing. It's crashing. Like, Beale Star is the most expensive regular art in the set. It's $35. And there are a lot of listings. Like, some people think that Beale Star is short printed in the set. I don't know if that's necessarily true or not, but nonetheless, it is $35. That's your most expensive regular art in the set. And you look at something like Gabu Bond here, literally $5. This card has crashed so hard. And people project this to be one of the best decks of the format. And just like Lord Nightmon, 5 bucks. Now, what I did here, a little mario section here. Remember this market watch? Remember this market watch? I did this market watch uh, October 18th. Gabu Bond here was $40. Look where we are fallen. It has dropped by so many dollars. Instead of 40, it's four. You know what I mean? I want to make sure to just put the reminder out there. Do not buy pre-sales at all. Do not do it. Because you're going to get fucking destroyed. People were buying this at $40. They were buying it at $40. All right, and they could have just been patient and got it for four dollars. And now I bring this up again because classic collection cards, classic collection cards. Now there are no listings yet. There are no listings. However, you know we're going to be getting some listings soon, and you're going to see some ridiculous prices for some of these cards. Do not give in to the pre-sales. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just wait until the set comes out, and then you won't get hosed like the people who got hosed buying these for $40 each. Don't be that guy. Man, people make a killing on these pre-sales. Holy moly. Makes me want to create a TCG player and just do this and see what happens. Mario's Hosing World. I like the ring of that. Maybe we'll do it for fun. We'll see. Beamon from the one year anniversary box topper. Now. What's interesting about these one-year anniversary box toppers is that there are 10 of them. You get one per box. And the funny part is that it's not really divided properly amongst your case. Like, there in, in all of our cases we opened, no case had one of each. It didn't happen. Uh, we got clumps of some and zero of others. <laughs> like, you know, that's so weird. But these cards will hold the test of time a lot more than cards from, let's say, the dash pack. Because the dash pack, you get two dash packs with every booster box while supplies last. And, you know, there's only six dash pack promos as opposed to ten. And I brought up Vmon here particularly because Vmon 
is one of the more expensive ones. It is a fan favorite Digimon. And while it's not seeing play right now, it will see play again when Imperial becomes good again. Uh, like EX01, Imperial Star X, that kind of thing. So it's very possible because these are one year anniversary box toppers. They probably won't be reprinted ever again outside of that one random one you get in a BT6 booster box. So some of these, like Vmon, might hold collectible value down the road. Um, I'd probably still wait. I don't think we've hit the floor for these cards yet. I think 18 is a little bit up there until all the boxes have been cracked open from both waves. But don't forget, anyone that's not aware, in North America, uh, BT6 was separated for most stores in two waves. Like, I got half of my BT6 when it came out. I'm getting half my BT6 at an unknown date right now. We don't know technically officially when that is. It'll be a week from now, two weeks, who knows? So there are more of these to be circulated and go around. So I wouldn't pull trigger on these yet. But keep in mind that these anniversary box toppers, unlike these dash pack promos, might see a little more value down the road. So just, just so you know. Just keep that in mind. Biomon here. Biomon. Um, light play for $7 and near mint for nine dollars now this biomon is seeing play in just one because when it deletes an opponent's battle and survives you draw a card it's not once per turn so this card obviously wombo combos really well with judgment of the braid blade you do piercing damage draw you can attack again because it's just mon you draw another card because it's not once per turn that's kind of insane in a deck that plays really wonky evolution lines a deck that can brick a lot more easy than other decks this card is really good in that deck. Like, it's a really good draw card. So, it's seen a little bit of price spike. It's gone up a little bit. So, you know, market price is $4, right? It's going up in price. Um, this will probably even see play after the Red Star decks come out. So, just something to keep in mind. You may want to sell them if you have them. You might want to grab them if you don't. Before Just Mon starts going tier 1 and then going all over the place. Now, Agumon. Uh, online regional, online finalist cards. We know that this pack, these ones, are still circulating amongst regionals, and they haven't, they're haven't. they not changing anytime soon from what we know. So these will probably continue to go down in price, all of them. So if you haven't pulled the trigger yet, don't, because they're probably going to go down in price. Next up is Diaboromon from the you know, the original tournament pack, going down in price, $55. You know, and they're selling, and there's you know kind of some listings before it goes up to 60 I still think it's going to go down in price especially before ex01 but but do make sure you have a, some copies of this before ex01 because if die Bormon does become tier one and this has not seen a reprint yet it's going to be too late make sure you have them andrew Wilmon now on this side of the coin 50 dollars is the cheapest seriously you six 69.69 lol what that's funny but anyway seriously you are running out of time with this card i've been saying it for weeks and it's slowly creeping up. So you know, hold them if you got them, but if you don't and you want them, you're running out of time. Next up, Lusamon. Lusamon, pick up this card, please, before fall down mode comes out BT7. Just pick up this card, because it'll go up in price, and you'll regret it if you don't have it. Uh, Panamon, from the pro original promo one, $6. I'm expecting this to go down in price. Um, not right now. Yellow is still good right now. When the structure decks come out and then when eox01 comes out it'll go down in price so if you have these patamons probably sell them now just saying um biomon we already covered i don't want to that up twice oh well craniumon craniumon remember when this card was two dollars meh mm-hmm yeah remember when i told you guys to pick up this card because one day it'll explode well that day has come. It's exploding all over people's faces. Very inappropriately. Nine dollars. Yep. Uh, Aguni Mons. Get this card as well before set seven because Ancient Grey Mon is actually really good in set seven. So uh, make sure you have your Aguni Mon promos. Okay. Uh, Pulse Mons. I brought this up for a very interesting reason. You see a Pulse Mons price right here, right? Okay. And you see this Pulse Mons price here, right? You see this, right? You see it. If you want Pulse Mons, just grab these ones. Just grab those ones. Grab them. There's a lot less of these ones than there are of these ones. 
Okay, cool. Next up, Sun and Rising Mon. From the power up packs back in set four, they're exploding because black right now is tier one. So, Sun and Rising Mon obviously reflects that. Now, this is where I'm going to also give your general shout out for your power up promos like Sun and Rising Mon and Aguni Mon and other things like that. These power up promo cards may not get reprinted ever again. And if they see play, and if they're good in their respective formats, they will explode like this. So, if I was you, I would sell your Sun and Rising Mons right now. Because it might actually crash. It might actually crash. Like, these listings, there's two ways you go about it. You sell them now to be safety, or you be that guy that does a buyout, and then you make the floor 30, and then you do another buyout, and then you make the floor fucking $45. You play whatever game you want with this, but Sun and Rising Mon is on the high right now. Um, if black doesn't see as much play as it's anticipated to see, it'll go back down in price, but right now it is in a bit of a hype spot, so just be careful with that. Next up, this Patamon, Store Champion. Uh, we do know that the next Store Championships are using these promos again, the same ones, so again, they'll probably go down in price. Don't buy your Store Championship promos. Don't, just wait, just wait a little bit. Alternate our Craniumon. Speaking of Craniumons, uh, yeah, seriously? You're running out of time. If black takes off, like like they were already under ten bucks already, and uh, you see what's happening here. Just uh, yeah, there you go. You may want to consider buying them because the alt art one will easily go to twenty dollars, and at worst you play them, and at best you sell them for money or other way around. I guess it depends how you look at it. But alt art cranium on, just like regular cranium on, it's no joke right now. No joke. All right, metal Greymon from the original set near mints for 10 11 dollars it's just not seeing play right now it just isn't seeing play right now and to be fair it's probably also not going to see play in bt7 maybe it's a tech but not everyone is going to play this card so uh want this for your collection pick them up because it's not a bad time to do that and unlike the alt art probably not going to hold any real world value down the road and finally imperial german dragon mode green why am i bringing this card up now i think this card in particular is a really big sleeper with the Imperial Jumon support to come in the future. And this card might do nothing. I might be completely wrong. But I'm just saying, if there is some secret sauce with this card, which there might be, and it does do well, it's a it's an old secret rare, so it'll go back on the price. So like for ten bucks, nine bucks, grab a few. If you want them for your collection, or worst case you want them to try to play with them, because some secret sauce might happen, and this card just might explode out of nowhere. Just, uh, just want to let you know. But yeah, we're done. That's Market Watch. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did we cover everything you wanted? Was there anything else I should have covered? You know, let me know. I'm out of here. Bye.